Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Drew Gamers Final Fantasy VII live stream. Uh, I apologise for the delay on that. I was still getting ready and sorting all my sorting myself out uh, because I was like, what to to uh, stream for you guys today. Uh, so what I plan on doing today is I plan on uh, well, the first thing I wanted to do, try and do was I wanted to try and get Shadow Flare, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to, so we shall give it a go. Hopefully I'll get it, but I doubt it. And the second thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get the Chocobo side quest. Oh wow, okay, we found it straight away. So, who needed Shadow Flare? Sid. I think Cloud's got it. I think Cloud is the only one who does have it. So maybe if we kill off Cloud... <coughs> Um, that'll help us get it a bit better. I know this thing's pretty tough. So we just gotta be careful. Alright. <clears throat> so, this is what I, that's what I plan on doing today. As much as I can. It can't do, uh... Alright, uh, let me just put Sid in the back as well, just so we're not getting wrecked. Uh, I think Cloud had a uh, haste, so... So yeah, like I said, I plan on doing uh, the Chocobo side quest, or as much as I can in this one, because obviously it, a part of it is luck-based. So, uh... It's just all about what we can get, what we can find. <laughs> I intend to. I'm hoping to get Shadow Flare off it. So I'm trying to... No, okay, we've got one. If Vincent survives. Yep, okay, good, fine. Now I just need to do it again on Sid, and we should be good. And then I can leave. I was kind of lucky though, because it like uh, I was looking for this for a long time last time, and was sort of worried about it, um, about not getting Pandora's box. But we managed to get Pandora's box as well. I just need it to not kill Sid when it uses Shadow Flare, and we should be fine. And hope that it uses Shadow Flare on Sid. If not, I'll just leave and then I can get it a bit later on. It's a shame you can't manipulate it. Okay, uh, let's just use poison on you. Come on, just use Shadow Flare on Sid, that'd be great. <laughs> and then I don't have to worry about it anymore, and I think Sid is done then. <laughs> that was, uh, that was me that did that. Because, um, Cloud already had Shadow Flare on his enemy skill. So I killed him, just so that the other two got uh, got it on theirs. But I'm not getting lucky with getting it on. Yeah, it's on Vincent again. Damn it! That might actually. Oh no. So Vincent's already got it, so I don't need to get it on him again, but it's just a case of uh, keeping Sid alive long enough for his use Shadow Flare on his own. It should be fine, but it's just uh, 
easier. Um, he just needs to make sure that he has regen and big guard on, and then he'll be fine. But all right. Do that then, and Dragon Force. Use it on uh, Sid, please. <laughs> <clears throat> That'd be great. Let's use it again, but it's gonna be on Vincent, isn't it? Please be on Sid. Nope. Just really wants Vincent to have Shadow Flare. Alright, um, I'm gonna have to. Sorry, Vincent, but. <laughs> Yeah, 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 whatever. It's always handy when you don't know if you've got any, uh... Uh, what are we we'll just run out of that. Okay, that's fine. You don't know if you've got any, uh, antidotes. <laughs> I've got plenty of, uh, elixirs, so... I'll just use one of them so I just get. His MP back up. And he's run out of uh, regen. So, no, my luck now, it's run out of MP and it won't use it again. Now that I killed it off, and it's used Shadow for three times on Vincent. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Right, thank you. So let's get a angel wind on the go. Also, got it. Angel whisper, not angel wind. Awesome. Right, go for it. Well, that nearly killed Cloud, but never mind. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so Sid's... Sid's got his. Finished. Uh, I think Cloud just... Both Cloud and Vincent just need Chocobo Buckle. And I plan on doing the Chocobo side stuff, so... Let's uh, head off then. I just need to get out of uh, Northern Cave. What do we got? Are these... Damn things. I had enough of these last time. Oh, we're running. Okay, that's fine. Right, okay. So, back we go. Again. This is like the fourth time I've like run through here. Because I didn't get uh, Shadow Flare, so I had to keep running back. And I wanted to get all the items, so... That's fine. Uh, King Teal. Okay, that nearly killed Cloud. Okay, fine. Did I got uh? No, I think I took it off instant actually. Also, 
So, like I said, what I plan on doing is hopefully getting out of here pretty sharpish, but uh, I don't know if that'll be the case. But at least I got Shadow Flare, which is uh, good. <laughs> and I got all the other enemy skills I can get in here. Um, it's just a case of getting out of here as quickly as possible, but that's never a simple, simple task. Okay, let's go. Alright, okay. Got another... Another battle, which is just the Tombury. Everyone's good. I probably just killed whoever that was. Vincent. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, uh, like once I come through here properly and get everything, then I'll be fighting things. But for now, I'm just trying to, I just wanted all the items and all the materials and everything that we got. Uh, is it this one? I always forget which one it is. Yeah, okay. Damn it! Quite a big delay on uh, the stream, actually. I didn't think it'd be that delayed. Uh, -ba where are we? There we are. But yeah, as always, you can follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to me on YouTube, where I'm doing uh, Pokemon Emerald and World of Final Fantasy at the minute. Um, under the Drew Gamer. All my stuff's under the Drew Gamer, so Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr are all under that as well. Uh, and as always, any donations are always greatly appreciated to help the quality of the streams and stuff. And I should hopefully, when I go to California, should be uh, live streaming with my partner as well, so that'd be good. Um, I can't remember... Okay. Stop it. <laughs> um. Ah, there we go. I'm sure, yeah, there you go. <laughs> now Vincent saw us down. I love this thing. I should only really be able to kill that pretty quick, so there we go. I think they were getting ready to run then as well. Which is awesome. So we're getting a lot of gill built up, which will be good because the Chocobo side quest does cost a bit, but with the uh, item glitch, it helps uh, keep the cost down by a lot. Uh, Dragon, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Not on Vincent. Yeah, we're running. Good. Okay. Th thank you. Uh, and then if we climb up back up this side, we'll get all the items on this side. And then that's all the items. So then when we come through to actually defeat... Oh no, I can't climb up that way. Huh. That's annoying. Well, when I come back the next time, I'll... Uh... I'll go down the right side. Because I think it's all it is, is item sources. It's not anything like weapons or anything. Or armor. Come on, Cloud. Thank you. Which, I should really, uh... Uh, clone and use. <laughs> Just to... Increase the stats of everyone and stuff. Oh, come on. We're nearly there. We are nearly there. I believe it's just this one screen and then we're out. 
Yep. Awesome. So many battles we fight here on the way. One. Okay, we're nearly there. It's a, oh no, cloud. Awesome. And we're here. Thank God for that. I just need to check something. Oh, that was nice of Cloud to just keep walking without me pressing anything. <laughs> Oops. And then we can just keep going up. And we shall be out of Northern Cave. What do you want? Well, okay, everyone's waiting for you. Alright, thank you. Uh, Vincent and Sid. Sid's so uh, my highest level characters. Uh, before we go anywhere else, we will come into here and talk to this... This guy. Uh, you should be able to heal us. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to go off and we're going to do some chocobo hunting. Which will be good. And hopefully, I'll get it to work. Uh, so first of all, what we want is... We don't need luck plus, we need... Chocobo lure, which I did master, I think. Chocobo Law. Oh, that's the basic one. Chocobo Law, which is mastered. So, let us do that. Go on. Uh, so, first what we're going to do is we're going to fly over to... Uh, we're going to fly over to Chocobo Farm, which is that way. And we need to talk to uh, the people in here, and we can buy stables. We could do this earlier on, but I just didn't. You can actually do this whilst you have... Uh, I'll know at least when, once you have Sid. I don't know about Tifa, but you can when you have Sid. Oh, what is it? What is the world come to? Stars falling and everything. We think the way they are. How about raising some chocolate to... Bleh. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not trying to persuade you for money, it's just because of the state of things in the world. I thought that would be a good and healthy thing for you to raise some chocobos. Hmm. You just happen to be in luck. It just so happens that we haven't taken care of any chocobos for anyone else, so... I could take care of chocobos right now for 10,000 gil per chocobo, how about it? Sure. Uh... Great chocobos you to for stables and, uh, currently six. 
Okay. 10,000, that's fine. I've got a ridiculous amount of gill, so... We want... To get all six stables. We've got plenty of money, so we may as well. To, so it's only going to cost us 60,000. Three... And five? Or was it six? I can't remember. I was like, is there a trouble button? Yeah, I know how to do it. I think. We don't have any room right for the right number six here. Okay. So I got all six stables. I should have, like. Yeah, I still got a ridiculous amount of money, so that's fine. Uh, we don't have any room right for the right number six here. Okay. So I got all six stables. I should have, like. Yeah, still got a ridiculous amount of money, so that's fine. Next, we want to go to the Chocolate Sage's house. Which is back up north. We should have probably done this the other way around, but whatever. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, sell me something. We want. Reagan Greens. So we're gonna get. 10 of those. They're like really good for catching chocobos. Uh, cause what they do is. They make it so. Uh, hang on. They make it so that. You, uh, it reduces the chance of the chocobo running well away by 12.5% and it keeps the chocobo uh, distracted for 8 turns. Now where are they? Okay, um, pinwheel, the guys with greens. Data. I got some days, I got days, I need more of them for something. Hero drink, what's hero drink? Raise the ability of once during battle, okay. I gotta be around here somewhere then. What's that not? <laughs> I will find it eventually. Luna Curtain. Mimic Greens, 8 inch cannon. Zeonaut. At least I got the Zeonaut already. Reagan Greens. There we go. Really? It's below the Zeonaut. There they are. What's on the top 10? So that's fine. Okay. So. That is the next thing we need to do, and after this, we need to come back down towards Bone Village. And there's an enemy here that, if I can hopefully find it, we get some. Uh, we get nuts off it. Can you give me? Well, you're not gonna give me chocolate bottle, but. Okay, well these will be easy to kill, so we can just kill these off pretty quick. They said it's like some weird uh, weird dragon thing. And you can steal carob nuts off it, and we need three of those, I think. Okay. Is that it? No, it's just one of these, okay. <clears throat> I want to check something as well, I'll do it in a minute, because I can't be bothered to find... Because the, the thing with this enemy is that it's just got a ridiculous amount of HP for some reason. So, I want to see in the next battle if I can clone items if I use a different item. 
That's the first item. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's get Cloud to mug it. Clock out. Oh, that was easy enough. Um, let me just try. Let's say I select that. Oh, okay. Uh, what if I select the carob nut then? Oh, it doesn't work on items you can't use in battle, does it? Okay, uh... Let's just use a couple of shadow flares on it, and hopefully that should be enough to kill it, but I doubt it. I don't know how much HP this thing's got, but it's a ridiculous amount. See? So for whatever reason, it's got... <laughs> a ridiculous amount of HP. We are on the back row as well, but even so... Come on. Yay! Okay. So that's one. I want to just get all my setup done first before I sort of continue doing uh, anything else. No. No. Thank you. I'm not totally sure why it said, if I asked me why I wanted to quit. Oh, it did help on suicide. Shame we've already got, uh... Oh, Sid! <laughs> okay, so... Do, 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 do. What we want to do is... Poor Sid, he nearly got taken out. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Sorry, bear with me. I need three of those, and I only require one zero dot, which I've got. Okay, so... Really? I'm just getting really unlucky with these. Oh, really? Poor Sid! That's got me! <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, well, so what have we got? Just be able to, uh, uh, uh. All right, okay, so we got another one, even though we're on a back attack again, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, mug it. Slow carob not, that's fine. We're gonna change row. Vincent can shoot it. Uh, they can change row again. I'm gonna big brawl it. It's not gonna be enough to kill it, but... It'll help. I thought uh, Vincent's didn't have Shadow Flare then. <laughs> right. Oh, good. That was quicker than last time. Alright, so I just need one more of those, and then we can move on to actually capturing some chocobos. And I have to look for some specific ones. Like, there's different types of chocobos you can get. There's Fair, Poor, Wonderful, great, and good. I might be missing one, I'm not sure. Um, and they appear in certain areas, and they appear with certain enemies as well. So you got to watch out for the enemies you do, so you don't just catch any random chocobo. That's the squirrels. 
don't use level 4 death. Damn it! V uh, Sid actually might be dead. Oh no. Okay. So, we should be ready to start catching Chocobo suit. Just need one more of these, uh, nuts. Can I just kill it? It's fine. So we want to get two great cho Chocobos. Um, From the Medeal area, and we want to get uh... I just need one one more of these things. All right, got it. Big cloud to mug it. Slow carb dot. Okay, so we've got three of those, which is good. Which does what? 8,084 damage. And before I continue as well, I'll probably, uh... Really? <clears throat> Three shadow flies if you're still alive, come on. Thank you. Uh, do, do, do. Let me just check something. Okay, so I need, uh, I do need silky screens. Well, I'm only going to buy a few of them and then I'll just clone the rest because it takes a long time and a lot of money. Okay, uh, sell me something. Let's buy, again, ten of these. And then I might just quickly fight one random battle and get these cloned. Because I need a lot of these, so. Not for um, breeding, but for feeding them, because when you feed them, it increases their stats. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find them first. Uh, Gasol Greens, they, they should be down here somewhere, because... Okay, where are they? Oh, right, right at the bottom. Okay, <clears throat> so now I can go off and try and capture chocobos. And the first one we are going to try is for. Uh, the Great Chocobo. Which I believe is over here. And they come with... Uh, first of all, I'm going to save it. Because I haven't saved it in a while. 
Uh, and they come with the uh, spiral enemy. And obviously you need male and female to be able to breed, so... But that's randomly generated once you're in the... Once they're in the... Uh, choker farm. I know it's not going to help much, but it, the more choker materials you have on them, better your chances are of finding a choker bow, so... And what we got? Uh, what are you? Headhunter, okay, no. Is that what we want? So how's everyone doing today? There's a question for you, because I haven't asked that today. I uh, hope you're all doing good. Um, so what are your uh, earliest memories for the Chocobo side quest as well? Because like, I remember doing this and it was... I loved doing it. That's what we want. That's a spiral. Hang on. Don't run. I think that's a spiral. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Just gotta be careful because sometimes you can kill him really quick. And then your character will attack the chocobo. You don't want that. So that's one. I believe you can catch up to four in a pen. So what we want is... Uh, send it back to the chocobo farm. So that's one. So what I might do, I might just catch two and then I don't know if I can soft reset, but I should be able to, I guess. Let's just kill these as well, because I get some experience. The thing is, when you're around the Medeal area, you do actually get some really good experience. You get 2,600, uh, 320 AP, that's pretty decent. Just for four headhunters. So what? What's each one worth then? You get... Hopefully this is another great one. Is there another great one? No. Uh, I've never actually tried soft resetting in my uh, emulator, so we'll see if it works. It'd be great if it did. Uh, four of these, that's fine. This guy's limit break, whatever. Come on, Cloud, thank you. Nice, Cloud's level 66. And we get a lot of gil back that I'd spent, so. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. So this happens sometimes when you try to find chocobos, you just can't find them. Found the enemy! Found the enemy that we needed, we just didn't find the chocobo with it. <laughs> right, okay. So what you want to do is, you want to as try and find this chocobo, find it with the spirals, and then you go back, you move the first one in, save it, and then you hope you find... And then you go outside, and then you... So you go outside, then you save it, sorry. And then... Really? Come on. 
and then go back in because the gender of the chocobo is considered when you uh, when you first move them in from the pen to the stable. They're not uh, they're not set once you capture them. So you want to go in and then if you don't get the gender that you want that's opposite to the one you caught originally, then you can soft reset it. And then you got to feed them. What the hell? I didn't know you fought this here. Hippogriff. <laughs> Hell to confuse. Uh, yeah, that's going to affect him, isn't it? Yeah. But does it matter? So then what you want to do is you want to feed them, feed whichever one you want to use in a race. Uh, ten silk screens. And that should be fine. Ah, oh, come on. Oops. I'm using sizzly break, whatever. Should should be dead. Uh because what happens when you uh Breed them, uh, race them. Sorry, is um, they get um, a higher chance of breeding for the chocobos you want. So, that's sincerely level up. That's good. I'm just want to find this uh, chocobo now. I got lucky at first, and now I'm just not getting lucky at all. But we have uh. A chance, uh, uh, we have a high chance of finding the chocobos anyway, because we've got, uh, good one, uh, uh, we got a really good materia on, yes, got it, on, uh, Cloud, and then Vincent's got another one, so, quick, go, 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 go. Awesome. There we go. So we got our two great chocobos. <clears throat> okay. Off we get. Send it back to the stable. Where's my high wind? There it is. <laughs> Couldn't find it. Uh, we fly back over to the chocobo. I just saw it then. <laughs> fly back over to Chocobo Ranch. And we shall move our first one in. And depending on how they walk, uh, is how you can tell what sort of uh, chocobo it is once you get into this menu. Welcome! Uh, moving chocobo. Which one are you going to put in the chocobo stable? Use that original press circle. Okay, uh, so it doesn't really matter. This is a great chocobo. So let's move our first one in. You want to put, this, uh, put, put in. Yeah, the male chocobo. So we're gonna call it um, Boko. Uh, yeah, let's call it Boko. Select. Okay, so now Boko's in. What we can do is we can come here. We're gonna save it and hope that the Thank you. That the second one is female. If not, um, we can uh, soft reset it, or I'll have to close my emulator and reopen it. But it's fine. Is there a original plan? Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, okay, I can't stop reset. Damn it! Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna have to keep doing, unfortunately, is I'm gonna have to keep closing the emulator and opening it. Which is kind of annoying, but... It's fine, whatever. Uh, 
Okay. Sorry about this. Super annoying. Thankfully it loads pretty quick. <sighs> right. Please be female. <laughs> Please be female. It's only it's a 50-50 chance. Literally it is a 50-50 chance. It's not. Uh Yay, female. We're going to call this Boca. <laughs> right, super. Thankfully, I didn't need to do that too much. I will probably, I'll probably need to do that a bit later on. Um, Because what you do now is... Uh, hang on, I can't find my mouse. Where's my mouse? There it is. Cloud, stop running. Uh, right. So we've got the two new one. We've got a male great and a female great. Uh now you raise a And now you need to race your win four races between the two of them. So you can win two and two or one and uh, one and three or four on one, none on the other, that sort of stuff. Uh speaks of ca the character name clone for the Okay, so who has better stats? Yeah, I do. Uh, for time and so I'll tell you about each of its abilities. From what I can see, the fastest sprinter is, I think it's Boca. And the fastest one is, that's Boca. Okay, so Boca. Alright. So, Boca is better off. So we want to give a uh, Boca uh, no, not baiting. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Silica screens, which one are you going to feed to? Give it to Boca. I'm going to give it 20. Yeah. Okay, uh, 7 plus, intelligence plus, they're all great though. Okay, um... Okay, so now we need to go over to Gold Saucer. And hopefully we should be okay to win the race. I hope so, anyway, because otherwise it's going to be a wasted journey. Um, we have to go to Coral, don't we? It's a shame. Oh, there's Ruby. It's a shame you have to uh, go through all the way through Coral to get this to work, but it's fine. So that's what you do. You go through here, you go back to Gold Source, so you have to win four races with what of one of your chocobos, one of your great chocobos, or both of them, between both of them. So, we're just going to be using Boca, and then that basically what that does, it increases the chance of them breeding for the chocobos that are lower down. Ok, 
Okay, let's go to the Chocobo Square. Alright, where are we? There we are. And if you talk to Esther... Hey, let's say, how have you been? There's a lot going on in the world outside. It's gonna get a little lonely around here, but you can't do that. How about you want to ride Chocobo? You're going to Chocobo, right? Let me register. Uh, we're gonna use Boca. Yeah. Uh, sure. It's cool to buy the, uh... It's cool to, uh, uh... What we got? Phoenix Down, 500 Bolt Bloom, okay. Yeah, see, so like... <sighs> they're having to, like, really run to catch up to us. So, that's fine. And as long as you're holding R1 and R2 down, it, the stats are going back up for you. So you can actually slow down. But, because the thing is... Um, I can actually see the Chocobos over there. Uh, you can't actually... Uh, win the race until the second one crosses the line, which is kind of annoying. Or finish the race, I should say. So, we may as well just take a leisurely stroll through. Um, if they start catching up to me, then yeah, we'll speed it up a little bit, but we don't need to. Because the only bit that they, you, you really slow down on is this bit, and the green chocobo doesn't get affected by this, which is kind of cool. So they're like right behind us. They've just come in through the space bit. So, right, that's one down. And um, what did we get? We got, uh... Phoenix down! Yay! <laughs> uh, I want GP. Which one? Uh, Boca. <clears throat> I will showcase the long one as well at some point because it is pretty cool looking. Okay, I'm just gonna sort of. walk fast like that. Uh, just so we can sort of keep up with them. <laughs> To get through this as quickly as possible. So this is race number two. So even though I was trying to keep up with them, I still ended up getting really, really far ahead of them. Okay, so that's race number two. I wish you could keep your GP like when you left. Uh, 
Uh, oh no, please. Hyper. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. So, let me register. Boker again. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So this is, uh, you know, it's fairly easy once they, uh... So I'm not too worried about this, even though they're ahead, like, they'll, we can just sort of, like, walk faster than him. Because once they stop sprinting, that's it. So you don't want, you want to put it at a pace where uh, it's going to be okay to, to race. You can see all the chocobos below me, so... Uh, okay, to race. You want to get to a pace where it's okay that you're ahead of them, but not too far ahead of them, because they're just gonna. It's just gonna take forever. Cause they're, like, they're literally right behind us. Okay, so let's see what then. So what do we get? A hyper. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, you start moving up in ranks as well every three. Uh, three races. So it makes it uh, a little bit harder. Because your opponents start getting a bit faster and stuff, but you should still be okay. Feeding the 10, 20 silk screens is like fine. They'll be a bit more aggressive and they'll speed up a lot more and all that sort of stuff. But we're still, look, still really far ahead. They're just coming up to the, the first turn in. Um, we're uh, a bit further ahead, so I need to speed up a little bit because they are catching up. So that's what I mean, they're like, these ones, like, they catch up, like, really quick. Which is fine. Because it uh, comes in uh, very handy for them to be as quick as they are. And that'll give us what? Hero droid? I don't know. Five bang. Okay. So what we do now is we head back to the station. We're going to be doing a lot of coming and to and froing from uh, Gold Saucer.
Okay, so hopefully, now that we've done that, we should get a uh, a blue or a green chocobo. And then we need to do the same again. We need to fight... Uh, we have to fight a certain number of battles and then we can breed them again. Because it takes a while for you to be able to breed uh, chocobos. I think it's ten battles and then they're able to breed again, so... And you're not allowed to run away from the battles either, so we can just come in here and we can just fight stuff. Um, so I'm going to save it outside because even though it's raised the chance of us getting a green or a blue chocobo, it doesn't mean that we are going to get one. <clears throat> um, okay. Welcome. And what we want to do is we want to... We're going to breed Foco and... Poker, go ahead. Uh, which nut are you going to use? We're going to use the carob nut. Yes. And that helps them breed, but uh, for the blue and the green, but it doesn't mean that we're going to get it. Oh, we got the blue! Got yourself a new chocobo! This is a female, so the... Uh, the uh, um... The uh, blah, blah. the green one needs to be male. Uh, what should we call it? We're gonna call it uh, Lola. Awesome, we got the blue one. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna showcase something. Uh, welcome. Riding chocobo. Which one are you gonna take? We're gonna take. Lola. And what we can do with this now is we can take Lola into our high wind. Because she is ours. And if we come all the way over to Medeal. Uh, was it Medeal? Was it this area? Yeah, it was Medeal. We come all the way over to the Medeal area. And we should... I can't remember how you actually get there, but... And then we land. Land. We are on our chocobo, and we can run on shallow water. You can only do this with the blue chocobo or the black chocobo. You can't do it with... and the gold. You can't do it with the yellow or the green. So what we want to do is, there's a cave right at the end of this little sort of peninsula bit. And in each of these caves that you can only access with chocobos is a materia that you can get. And the first one we are going to get is, over the course of many years, Marco Angie has created us into materia, received quadra magic materia. So what that lets us do, it just literally lets us cast uh, magic four times, so it's really cool. I guess it's the one that you pair it up with, I'm not sure. Um, right, so now we just need to run all the way back. We also need to fight 10 battles. Oh, I could have just run, never mind. Could I have just run up there? Yeah, I could have, never mind. <laughs> so we'll do that in the Chocobo area, because that'll just be like, really quick. I mean, technically we could get a... Uh... Uh, Chocobuckle as well, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'll do that a bit later on. Okay, so we got... Our first one. Okay.
Okay, it's just randomly four of them. Uh... Is that hit now? Okay, so that's one. I probably won't be able to do all this in uh, one go, but I can at least try and get the uh, the blue and the green chocobo today, and then in the next episode I'll get the black and the gold. But we shall see. Because you have to do a lot of racing with the green and the blue to to get the black. So maybe I'll try and get the black. Uh, I do need. Uh, do know it? No, I don't. Three. Because then uh, once I breed the the other one the green. I need to train that up with uh, stats and then I need to uh, fight a number of battles with having that as well because they, uh, the chocobos need uh, a certain amount of time before they can breed and stuff as well once they're born. Alright, so that was three battles. I never do keep GP, sorry, I'm just like an idiot. I thought GP, yeah, man. I should have been taking GP, never mind. So that's four battles. Was that five? I think that's five. Six. Hey, Gracker. Oops. Six. On battles, thank you. Seven. This is battle seven, I think. I don't care if you uh, surround me. That's fine. Ah. Okay, seven battles. A 
eight. Just two more, and then we can go off and hopefully breed it. Oh yeah. I forgot to do something, but it's fine, whatever. Do it in the next one. So that's nine battles, and then in the last one, uh, I will do what I was going to do and forgot to do. Okay, battle number ten. Vincent, there he is. Close to the right, it's still right at the bottom, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so right, what we need to do now <laughs> is we need to go back in and I need to save it before I do this because this is probably one of the more annoying uh, chocobos to get because you have to breed the two yellow ones to get the blue and the green. Uh, okay. Mating. Uh, this one, and this one. Go ahead and make these two. You have to make sure that they're obviously bred together. Then you have a chance of either getting the a yellow, a green, or a blue. So you've got to hope that you're going to get the green. And then you've got to hope that the green is the opposite gender to your, um... So that is the green one. Please be male. Oh, it is! Nice! Yeah! <laughs> I got lucky! Yay! He's going to be called Monty. So now what we do is, with Monty... We can take him out as well, and we can go, uh... Uh, we can feed him... We can take him out and take him to the cave that where he gets stuff. Uh, which one are you going to feed? We're going to feed Monty. We're going to feed him probably 50. This might take a while, but it's fine. Yeah. I don't know how many uh, we need to do it, but... Awesome. Speed plus. Um... Hang on, there we go. Speed plus, stamina plus, intelligence plus, they're all great to go along. Uh, so now what I need to do is I need to go off and I need to... Actually, first of all... I don't know if this is going to work or not. Uh, no, we'll do that after. 
we'll do that after. Because what you can do is <clears throat> come back over to Gold Saucer and we need to race. Monty, like nine times. So we're gonna do that. I'll probably get up to the black chocobo, and then in the next episode, I will do in the next live stream. I'll do the the gold. So yeah, we want to race Monty, like, nine times. And you can, you don't have to race the one Chugbo nine times, but you can race, again, you can race both of them as long as it equals nine or more. <clears throat> okay, so do you want to ride Chugbo? Let me ride, uh, which one? I want Monty. I'll mention the C-ranked Chugbo, yeah. Which race do you want to do? We'll do the short one. So Monty should be way faster than everything that's here. <clears throat> Just by walking, to be honest. Hey, shift guy. I mean, it's not too much faster, but he should be okay. If I start losing, I probably ha might end up losing and stuff, but it's fine. Okay, now we're uh, really far ahead again. We've got to wait for them to. Uh, we've got to wait for them to finish as well. So it's just like, like okay. <laughs> so when you run through in this, when you run through this bit on the green chunk, but you're not affected by the. To slow down, you're actually sped up. So now I just gotta wait for them to finish, cross the finish line as well. My headphones were slipping off then. GP. Yeah, just give me the GP. Thank you. Congratulations, you came first. Yay. Let me register which one we want to do. Monty. Yeah. You just want to do this as quickly as you can because obviously it takes a while just to uh, just to win it. So. Slow down a little bit. So this is race number two. Out of now, you can see how far behind they are. Again, <laughs> as cool as it is, we're winning the race. 
as fast as you can and stuff. Like, it's just annoying that you have to wait for the second one to cross the finish line before you can find out. Because the it how the prizes work is dependent on, on where you place and where... If you place first, second or third and then where they place as well, so... So say you've come first, so it says one, and then it'll say like one through six. So say one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. And that's how the prizes is distributed. So it has to, it's based on who comes first and second. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. <laughs> so, number six came second, which gives us a hyper. I want GP. So that's what, two. So you don't have to do this, you can breed them so that they um, they do get the chocobo that you want, but it gives you uh, it's it just makes it easier when you're breeding. That if you win all these races and stuff, your chocobos breed the one that you want more often. Because what you do is you breed. Two greats or a good and a great to get the green and the blue. Then you breed a green and a blue to get a black. And then you ble breed a black and a wonderful yellow to get a gold. That's how it works. But between breeding, you have to fight a certain number of battles. You have to fight. Uh, you have to race. A certain number of races to do it, so that's why today I'm just going to try and get up to the gold. Because I planned on this stream being about two hours long, so. Because I'm still struggling with my uh, stomach issues, which is not fun. Okay, so they're right behind us, which is fine. So after this one, we'll be a B rank. So that's number three, and you get a lot of GP for doing this, so, uh, I won, yay. Uh, I want GP 20, wow, okay, thank you. Congratulations, and uh, you moved up a rank, so from now on we're in B rank competitions, which is fine. Short. So once we start moving up a little bit more as well, I'm going to have to start doing a little bit more. You can, you can actually look at your opponents and stuff. So they've got 999 stamina, 95 speed. Uh, none of them have the same amount of stamina as us. They have better speed, but they haven't got the right the same amount of stamina, and stamina is important. So, stamina just lets you... Uh, Cover quicker. All right. So like, we're catching up to this guy, and all we're doing is walking. So it's just like, okay, bye. And if you hold R1 and R2 down together, then your stamina bar stays high. So like, if I start doing this, you can see it's going down. The slower you go in as well, the quicker it recovers. So if I slow down to my lowest point. Slow down a little bit. Yahoo! 
So this is race number four. And again, we just have to wait for them. Ah. Okay, let me just uh, sit up a little bit. What did we get? We get an Arctic win? Antarctic win? Yes, we did. I won! Yay! I won GP, which, what do we get for that? 20? Thank you. Okay. Race number five. Which is all <laughs> which is always fun, right? I do like the choke by racing, I do love choke by racing. Um it does just take a while to do. There's probably a couple of minutes per round. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> That's never happened to me before. <laughs> Alright, okay, let's slow down a little bit. Just so they can catch up to us. Okay, race number five is done. Uh, don't forget, whilst we're waiting, don't forget you can subscribe to me on my channel, The Drew Gamer, on YouTube. Uh, I will be posting. Uh, videos from there onto here. Uh, don't forget you can follow me here as well. Uh, hopefully soon you'll be able to subscribe. Uh, because I did put in for the Twitch um, partner program. Which would be great. And uh, don't forget you can follow me on my other social medias, on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And as always, any donations are always hugely appreciated. Uh, like I said, I'm going to California to see my partner. We should be doing some live streaming whilst I'm there with Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, and then... I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting, hopefully, trying to save to get other stuff as well for the streams, like get a capture card so I can stream my PS4 properly, not record it from my PS4 and then upload it. Um, so, you know, that'd be great to be able to stream from my PS4. We could do some really cool games and stuff with that as well. Because so, at the moment, I'm sort of limited to what I can do. I could get do PC games and stuff like that, but um, I'm more of a console gamer, so... Race number six. So yeah, any donations are really appreciated. I'm still sorting out my notifications and things. I think they are working. Um, I haven't tried them today, but I should have tried them before I started streaming, but it's fine, whatever. Uh, I want you to 10. All right. Congratulations, you came first, and now you check with move rank. So we've got to do uh, A run races now. Uh, take care. Okay, so it, they are still a lot faster than us. Are the other guy's not here, is he? No. Okay, good. Right. 
Maybe he always starts appearing in S rank. Eh. So yeah, as you can see, they start getting a lot more difficult, the races. I might not win this then, because I can't get past him. Jeez, get out of my way. Okay, we are... So we are in first now. That took a while though. At least we'll be uh, pretty close behind them. Oh, they'll be close behind us. So the races will be fairly quick. Right, okay. Jeez, that was uh Oh got hero drake, nice. But uh I'm gonna take the GP. Yeah, only just cloud, jeez. How much GP do I get for this? Fifteen, that's not bad. Um so yeah, how's everyone doing? Let me know in the the comments how you're doing and what you're doing and all that sort of stuff, whilst I'm uh, just panic in and try to win these races. <laughs> okay, let's just speed up as fast as I can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're coming in second. I just need to get ahead of this guy. Come on, let me in front, let me in front, thank you. I need to make a good... a good gap between us, because they could just like suddenly charge forward. Um, okay. <laughs> Panicking now, because they're getting really close. You don't have to win them in a row, but I just wanted to get all of them done as I could. Uh, one. Our GP. Yeah, give me 15. Okay, last one. Oops. Last one. Let me register. A rank, okay. We'll do the short course. Ugh, okay. Oh no, it's... It's him. His stamina can... Oh, I had to find you, didn't I? Right at the end, I had to find you. He's that racer that we uh, d came across earlier. And he's just really annoying. On his black chocobo. His is just really fast compared to ours. Look, so he's just keeping up with us constantly. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I'm super worried about this because, look, he's just like right there. Ah, come on, we need to beat him. I hope I do. I seriously hope I do. Because his has just got ridiculous stamina. Your stamina can't go over what, uh, 999. And his is there at 1000 and whatever it was. His is just going to start charging now. He's like right behind us. Ah, right. Thank God for that. Teo. I've got ether, it's fine. I won! Make change uh, I want GP. Hey, wow. Congratulations, you came from first. Wow, you, that's great. Looks like you don't have any rivals in the A rank anymore, but you know there's a rank that's full of those chocobos. Ahem. From now on, the next way that is chocobo is S rank. Joe's usually in that group too, so good luck. We was just in that one. Okay. So. What we're going to do now is uh, not get stuck. 
We need to come back. Um, and grab uh, and breathe our chocobo, but I don't think we can just yet. I think we have to do a certain number of battles because all we did was we bred Monty and then we came to race. So I need to fight a certain number of battles. I don't know how many I need to fight though. Right, okay. So let's just fight a few more battles around here. I mean, technically we could just keep fighting Midgar's Island. We'd probably be quicker. Because his HP doesn't scale. Rather than keep running around. Because all we'd have to do is just stand there. And Clad should be able to take him out in... Probably take him out in one hit. Because he has two times cut, so. Okay. A high potion. So I think I'm probably just going to do that. So we fought one battle. So he'll just come straight for us. And then every time he is defeated, he'll. Uh, He'll uh, uh, just keep coming at us. He'll just keep running and he'll keep running and spawning and running and spawning. So, or slithering, I should say. I shouldn't say spawning. Because the guy only has. Yeah, the guy only has 4,000 HP, so. So that's two. I don't know if I need to do 10 battles. I think it's more than 10, but we'll just do. 10 and say I think it's between 3 and 18 or something ridiculous. So I just stand here, he'll just keep coming at me. And if we do it with Cloud, it should just, uh, that should be it. It was just in the first one, and I kept having to, uh, I had to heal, and then I accidentally showed with Vincent, so. Here he comes again. <laughs> it's a very determined snake. Very, very determined. I had to count, I had to think then. Some blood tests was done the other day, and uh, basically because I've been having stomach issues, um, I'm starting to feel it a bit now. But um, the doctor called back yesterday and said there was nothing. She said it was reassuring, but she had to do redo one of the tests, and. She was still waiting on the test for celiac disease. So that's 
That's <laughs> fun. A lot of fun. So I've got a. Uh, I'm having te more. I'm having my test results back on Monday again because she just didn't get all of them back yesterday. And then in the net, and then they're gonna do see what it is, if it's anything. Um, and if it's not anything that they can find via blood test, I've got to have a scan just to see if it's anything else. Um, but she, I think she's basically just reassuring me that it's not cancer, which is good. Because I was very scared and very worried about that. Um, she said it's reassuring, so I think she was basically saying that it's reassuring, so it's not cancer, don't worry. Okay. Just a few more. I think this is what number eight. So hopefully this will be number nine. And then we'll save it outside it. And hopefully we should be able to breed them again. I can't remember if in this one, um, black chocobos can run on, I think they can run up mountains? I think they can. I think that was the thing about them is that they could run up mountains as well. So the green, you just basically need for racing really and to uh, you can use it for um, for um, blah, 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 what do you call it? You can use it to go off and get the material as well because obviously you're going to be waiting a while to get a black choker bow because you have to raise it to an S rank and stuff. Um, but I'm hoping that'll be it. We bred them and now welcome. Uh, we're gonna be mating. Which two are you gonna make? Tell the two make your decision. So yeah, we can. Because, and uh, Lola was older, so... What nut are you gonna give them? It should be the carob nut. Is this one? Yeah. Please be a <laughs> black chocobo. That'd be great. It is! Black Chocobo! <laughs> uh, what should we call it? I don't know if it'll fit, but... No, nowhere near. Let's call it, uh, let's call it Misty. In this case we have Misty the Black Chocobo. So we've got five, five Chocobos. And there are five types of Chocobos. So the last one we need is the gold one. Uh, let me just take uh, Misty for a ride. So basically we need a male We need a male wonderful chocobo. Uh 
Um, let me just make sure I can run up mountains with this. I think I can. Yes, I can. Okay. I just couldn't remember because I know in other Final Fantasies, like, they just do different things. So, um... Now, the Black Chocobo... Materia is over here. Because... Over here. Because you need to be able to... Run down the side and you need to be able to... Get back up as well. You can't do it without that. Uh, is this the HP MP switch? Yeah. HP MP. So basically, you'll have 9,999 MP. For instance, if you had max stats, that max HP and max MP, you'd have 999 HP and 9,999 MP. Which I've never really used before. I don't really see the point in it. But. Whatever. And then the other one is here. Uh, I need somewhere to land. There we go. Uh, where is it? It's there. And this is. I think this is. This is mime. <laughs> Which is a really good material as well. Over the course of many years, blah blah blah. I received the mine material. So, in the next, uh, the next live stream, I will be breeding to get the gold, the gold chocobo. I just, uh, I didn't want to stream too much today because, um, like I said, I'm still suffering with uh, issues with my uh, my stomach, so. Um, I don't want to be, and I need study to eat and things and all that good stuff. So, what we'll do, we'll put Misty back, and then in the next live stream, I will get. Uh, welcome. Oh, Misty's back, so I don't need to do any of that. I probably will release the... I know it probably sounds sad, but... Because, um... Welcome. Uh... Because we've got, um, we've got to catch a, we've got to get a wonderful chocobo, which is yellow. You can only find yellows in the wild, so you've got to get, capture a yellow one. And then we need to breed the, the wonderful with the black chocobo. <coughs> and that'll give us, hopefully give us our gold one. So I like having one of each of them, so we're going to end up with the yellow anyway. Um... But yeah, I am going to leave the live stream off here. Thank you very much for watching, everyone who watched today. Um, don't forget, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me here. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can follow me here. Um, you can also... Uh, any donations will get appreciated. There's a link down below. And don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias as well. Um, on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram, they're all the Drew Gamer. Everything's under the Drew Gamer. Um, so thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next live stream where we will be breeding for uh, Gold Chocobo. We'll probably try and get everyone's uh, limit breaks as well as much as we can. Try and do a bit more side questy stuff, and. Then from there we'll be completing the game, uh, and I'll probably be doing a couple of bonus, like maybe one bonus um, live stream for it after we complete the game to do with the weapons. But it depends if we can be bothered to do it really, because they are annoying. But um, 
after this, I'm probably going to be doing some sort of maybe a black and white randomizer, uh, just so you know. Um, the next live stream should hopefully be Sunday, but I'll, it might be Monday. We'll see. So thank you again for watching, everyone, and I'll see you then. Bye.